Today I'm coming in with a 5 guns I would like to see in DLC 5 video. I guess it's safe to say that it's pretty much confirmed that we will get DLC 5 very soon. If you did not know what went down in the past weeks or so and you completely miss all the leaks, definitely check some videos out on the channel and get yourself up to date. We cover everything about it and today we're gonna be talking about 5 guns and weapons I personally want to see return from the original Kinoder Toten with DLC 5 in Black Ops 3 Zombies. You can also let me know your 5 guns or weapons list in the comment section down below after you're done watching this video but this list won't be about wonder weapons and I know some people class Reagan as a wonder weapon I personally do as well and we're not gonna have Reagan in this list it's only going to be about guns and weapons from Black Ops 1 Kino that are taught and also a quick note that Treyarch may need licensing and shit like that for some guns and some guns may or may not be there just a quick note but hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it if you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing for daily videos like this one and let's kick this off now coming in at number five it's going to be the China Lake. I'm just kidding but at number five we have the commando now I personally love the commando so so much and just forget about that like China Lake BS and I just personally love the commando so much and Kino Der Toten is highly likely that we will see being remastered as a whole map in Black Ops 3 Zombies with Chronicles we all have seen the theater room and the training area within Revelation and that's a good teaser from Treyarch they already have assets and for sure they've been working on it and have put a little area in Revelation so Commando is that gun that I would personally pick over the Galil only in Kinoder Toten and speaking of Galil we already got that remastered in Black Ops 3 multiplayer so I wouldn't doubt if that was in DLC 5 for zombies and that's why we're not gonna have Galil on the list I'm just gonna let you know right now and Commando is just such a great gun it almost feels like you are not even shooting due to the fact that it's almost has a laser type of recoil of course if you get double tap then it's not gonna be a laser recoil but if you don't have double tap it has a laser recoil and the sound of this gun is just oof. and when you pack a bunch this B it's called the predator normally it has 300 total ammo 270 in reserve and 30 in the mag and when you pack a bunch this you get 400 total ammo so 100 additional ammo compared to the unpap version it got 360 in reserve and 40 in mag also get a slight boost in magazine capacity as well also has a quick reload speed of two seconds the iron sights are clean AF and on top of that when you pap this you also get dual mag attachment and speed cola combination with this is nuts and double tap in black ops 1 would only increase the firing rate but imagine using the double tap 2.0 in black ops 3 zombies with dead wire or blast furnace or any other pack abilities it will be a solid kick ass gun and speaking of a solid kick ass gun next up we have is the AUG or AUG however you guys want to call that shit but I've heard that this is going to be on the promotional cover art for DLC 5 only a rumor though but nothing has the same feel of AUG or AUG just like there's a unique feel of commando AUG on the other hand has its own unique feel it has built-in scope has similar amount of ammo compared to the commando but when you pack a bunch of this B you get like a shotgun attack attachment which is pretty damn cool just imagine using the AUG in Black Ops 3 Zombies and having the shotgun attachment in Black Ops 3 Zombies we could have had that as well as the other pack punch abilities it would add so much more replayability like sometimes when you pack punch on limited amount of guns you get the shotgun attachment some may get the grenade launcher explosive ammo and shit like that it would be so dope also when you pack punch this you get about the same clip size of 30 and 390 in reserve and as much as I love Galil I always have trouble choosing one over the other let me know what would you pick if you were to see Galil and Aug at the same time in Kino Der Toten in the comments below and next up we have the MP5K now this one ugh, I absolutely love this gun despite the fact it runs out of ammo very very fast I just love all its glory the firing rate which is bananas on this the looks the iron side and recoil pattern it is really a majestic wall gun that costs 1k points normally no one purchased this off of the wall in Kino but a lot of people do in Ascension and I personally want to see this come back in Kino Der Toten Ascension and Moon Remastered in Black Ops 3 Zombies. It is such a good wall gun just wish it had a little bit more
more ammo, but we ain't gonna complain about it. <laughs> we ain't gonna complain about it. Normally it has 120 in reserve and 30 in mag, and when you pack punch this, it's called the MP115 Collider, and you get 200 in reserve and 40 ammo in mag. I feel like that's the accurate amount of ammo it should have had without being pack punched, but all in all, I really want to see this making a return. Next up we have is the G11. This is a G of a gun. Let me tell you guys this though. There used to be a time when I used to not like the gun, not necessarily hit it, but if I were to see this out of the box or if I were to actually get this out of the box, I would be like, no, thank you, just take it away. But looking at Black Ops 3 guns now, uh, they are great, but I don't think they can beat our beloved Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies weapons, right? And G11 looks beast, especially with its unique built in scope with unique reticle. It is also a burst fire weapon and it has a 144 ammo in reserve and 58 in mag. And when you pack punch this B, it becomes an automatic rifle, which means it's no longer a burst weapon. And it's called the G115 generator. This gun is exactly what you will see once in a while in the mystery box. And low key, it makes Kino somewhat special. I also want to do a quick little uh, honorable mention before we do the final one. And the honorable mention goes to Galil. We know it's remaster in Black Ops 3. That's why I don't have it on the list. Otherwise, I would. MP40 as well. Although I love the Kino one more and the Origins one more as well, but it's highly likely that we will see the Black Ops 3 HD 40, which is uh, which I'm okay with. The crossbow from Kino, it's fire. We also have the Sunder gun in Rev, so I mean, it's gonna be in, no doubt about it. And now the last gun on the list we got is none other than the RPK. I know what you're thinking right now. It was also a tough decision for me because as you can imagine, we have the HK21 or HK25. I'm not totally sure if it's 21 or 25, but if I have to take a guess, I guess it's called the HK21. I would go with RPK still, but at the same time, I want HK21. So I'm gonna throw that in the honorable mention right now. But RPK feels much more reliable. It also has a high firing rate, really good looking stock camo, the black metal and wood in front. It just, oof. It also has 400 ammo in reserve and 100 in mag. And when you pack punch this, it's called the R115 Resonator. And it gets a bump in ammo. You get 500 in reserve and 125 in mag. Just a solid ass gun. I want you right now to drop your list of five guns that you want to see return from Kino in BO3. And yeah, you can also have uh, your honorable mention if you have some. But if you did enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys very freaking soon.